Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're taking a look at 8 Hidden Secrets in Sonic Frontiers. Sonic's latest adventure is filled to the brim with puzzles, bosses, and of course, goodies for Sonic fans of old. How many of these did you spot in your playthrough? Let us know down in the comments. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. A picture's worth a thousand memories. Sonic, this... this looks like ruins from back home. What if the people of these islands survived? and resettled on Angel Island. The only way you'd miss these is if you're not paying attention to the main story. There are a few moments in Sonic Frontier's cutscenes where characters will reference past events or get flashbacks. That's not a good sound. During these moments, Frontiers will display the memory in question, referencing games like Sonic Lost World and going as far back as Sonic 3 and Knuckles. As brief as they are, it's neat seeing a new Sonic game integrate older games into its continuity and lore. I can't... I can't lose this! You got this, buddy. Super Sonic Shooter. A few of the puzzles scattered across Frontier's various islands pay tribute to older games. One famous IP got the blue blur bump, but for now, let's focus on this homage found during the third island of the game. There is a segment where you will have to take part in a somewhat difficult shooter minigame. This is based on a shooter game called Ikaruga, which was originally developed for arcades in 2001 and Sega Dreamcast in 2002. It's widely regarded as one of the best shooters ever made, and if you want to experience this title for yourself, it is available on PS4, Xbox One, PC, and Switch. Stack em high, stack em right. As we mentioned earlier, Sonic Frontiers gives a wink and a nod to not just Ikaruga, but another legendary name in video games, and you can find it somewhat close to the starting area of the third island, Chaos Island. There are a set of blocks that you can activate by closing a Psy loop around them. Upon doing so, you'll cause them to start slowly falling onto a nearby platform. Better dust off those Tetris skills if you want to complete all of Chaos Island's challenges. It's really not too tough though, but expect to do this maybe a couple more times afterwards. Chaos Controlled and Conquered It's too dangerous! As you save Cocos and restore pieces of your friend's memories, you'll slowly learn where the Cocos came from and what exactly happened to them. Thing is that the Cocos in their previous form look vaguely familiar. I've experienced this before! We're somehow seeing a battle from the past! While they are not related to Chows, or so we're told, they do bear a strong resemblance to Chaos, the corrupted mutant Chow from the Sonic Adventure games and Sonic Battle. For now though, we'll assume that the Chows and the Cocos are just distant cousins. <laughs> the Nostalgic Diaries of Dr. Eggman What are gun military craft doing in here? Sage has helped me avoid the worst of it and it doesn't appear to be manned. One of the handfuls of collectibles in Sonic Frontiers are Egg Memos, which can only be obtained by purchasing them from Big the Cat. In addition to giving his perspective on certain characters and his findings on who the Ancients were, Eggman will occasionally mention previous events, locations, and characters from past Sonic games. But I have to wonder, back then, was she anything like Sage is now? Such games referenced include Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Riders, Team Sonic Racing, and even Shadow the Hedgehog. They're very interesting to read, even if they're incredibly short. I tell you, she's a chip off the old block. Well, for a program, I mean, it's not like she's alive. A friend from the panels. Egg 
As you're exploring the Starfall Islands, Sonic will occasionally say things and make remarks about his surroundings. One of these remarks harkens back to an old friend from the comics. I have a Tangle would love climbing around these ruins. In case you don't read the comics, Tangle the Lemur is a friend of Sonic, being introduced in the fourth issue of the 2018 comic series. The only appearances she's made in video games are in two mobile titles where she serves as a playable character, Sonic Dash and Sonic Forces Speed Battle. Hopefully Frontiers will be the start of bringing her and more of the comic-specific characters into the games. It's not pinball, it's spinball. A shocking omission in Sonic Frontiers is the pinball tables. Pinball has been a prominent part of Sonic games, mostly when it comes to the casino-themed levels. Sega really missed out on making it a core part of the gameplay, but they managed to sneak in a one-off puzzle at least. Collect enough wrenches to progress in Tails' story, and you'll eventually be led to a cave where you will have to play pinball and achieve a set score of... 5 million? Look, we know that it looks bad, but if you get the multiplier high enough, you'll reach it in very little time. But man, what are the chances we could see a new Sonic Spinball game anyways? Probably low. Fishing for Antiques For us older Sonic fans, this was the coolest part of Frontiers. Not because of big, big stupid, or even because the fishing is genuinely fun for how simplistic it is, but because of what you can reel in, that's why we love it. Sure, you'll fish up plenty of regular fish and big fish and weird fish and all kinds of fish, but you might be able to fish up a handful of different objects from the classic Sonic games as well. From springs and item boxes to star posts and gold plates, there are several homages to the classics you can reel in for yourself, and they might net you a pretty handsome pay from Big the Cat. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.